Hello and welcome to William Reed High School, where we've just had a question time session organised by the Advanced Modern Studies class uh, here at the school. I have to say it went very well. Uh, there was a little bit of controversy beforehand about uh, the presence of my former parliamentary colleague Tommy Sheridan, but as usual he was probably the most outspoken on the whole panel and uh, received, I noticed, several rounds of applause. Uh, very good questions from the pupils, so I'm just going to ask some of the modern studies pupils now um, and thank them first of all for their work. Did you, did you, first of all, did you um, put some of these questions forward yourself? Uh, I was more on the marketing side of things, so I was organising posters in the school and out with the school and trying to raise awareness in the community. So, so we should thank you for getting a big audience there uh, in the first place. Yes. Yeah. Well, it was a good, I mean, it was a, it was a packed, it was a packed audience there, yeah. exactly. And did you actually hear the answers or the questions that you wanted to hear? Um, I think it was, it was an open thing, it's just what everyone was thinking, it was good. I think, I think the scene in show business should always be left wanting more. So I hope you went away thinking, oh, I wanted to say that. Did, so did you get any questions, uh, or did you hear the questions um, asked that you wanted and the answers too? Yeah, we had a lot of discussion about what questions we'd like to be asked, so we kind of made sure that some people were going to ask them. So I think we heard that a lot of the answers. Right. So and uh, the, the 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 ones about, um, for example, um, young people voting in the referendum, which was the very first question. Mm -hmm. uh, I was I was intrigued because I thought that would get everyone going. Actually, in the beginning, it didn't. Did you think? Uh, and you're you're not your school first of all. The, the people wrote it at the school, Charlie, yeah. the head boy. He ended up saying that 16 year olds shouldn't have the votes. I thought it was quite upset. I thought that was funny because I would have thought he would have thought himself knowledgeable enough to vote. Because yeah. um, I think I have a different stance. I think we're kind of maybe, I don't know if we're more politically aware, but we're more politically aware of the process. Like we learn it in school and things, whereas someone who's doesn't isn't particularly involved in politics in their life won't really know anything about it. I think Charlie was making the point that some 16 year olds are mature and some 21 year olds are immature, and yeah. which, is a, which is a good point, but I have to say the problem from a political point of view is getting people to vote, particularly young people. I mean, in this area, we've got a very high percentage of young, young people voting. Across Scotland, it's less than 50%, so personally speaking, I'm actually in favour. Uh, I don't want to just see it for just one referendum, I think it should be for all votes or none. I think making a special case, but uh, I, I think it's, it's well, your future. So it be yeah, it's the future of the country, so I'd argue it's more important. So it's more a long term thing, so I think yes. that's why. But I think it would be odd if you vote in a referendum and then can't vote for the Scottish Parliament. It might. But that's only for like a short term, and you eventually get your say. But you're only going to get you're not going to get your say in that if you don't get it right. Yes, indeed, indeed. And did you did you put any questions up or? Uh... Um, yeah, we were all given a good opportunity to um, put forward questions, and it was really good to hear the questions that were put forward. Indeed. What do you think of the the, 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 the panel? Did, my my view was that. Then, I noticed it was terrible, but there was too much of the panel and not enough of the audience. <laughs> yeah. A wee bit. I think um, the panel all felt strongly about a lot of the questions, so that was probably the reason to do it. But um, from an audience perspective, it's actually sometimes more interesting to listen to other people. I'd like to hear different views other than just saying your own. So I didn't mind it. You didn't mind that, yes. And did you think anybody put their foot in it at any point? Or, uh managed to just... Yeah, so I thought it was good. Uh, that's and Richard, I think you were the one that caught me out, particularly with the uh, um, should you have your iPads in school yeah. question, I know. I Which, yeah, what did you reckon about that one? I think it was a wee bit misconceived at the start, because it, it wasn't like about texting people and stuff, more social, it was more the learning curves that are coming out of stuff like that and new technology, where younger people are using these things to learn and it's just going to get like more and more and more people are going to use it. And it's probably going to be big soon. I think absolutely big soon. It's big already. Yeah. I mean, and I, th I think the point was made. Your teacher made the point very well indeed that uh, yeah. you know you can access this information immediately. My my son was in secondary, and he you know he, I asked him anything. He's in with the Facebook with his uh, iPad right away and it's straight in there. Definitely. Whereas I thought it was all about tweeting and Facebook. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's more the learning side because yeah. you see younger people and they're using phones now. That when, like, it, there's going to be a stage where there'll be no books because they won't read them, they'd rather use yeah. technology. Yeah. Well, the parallel I was trying to make was that, you know, MSPs have got the same dilemma in the sense that we yeah. want to use the technology, but the trouble is we can't be trusted to use it either because we end up twittering from the back of the parliament. Yeah. So it's a very similar parallel. Can I just say thanks very much? It was a fantastic event, great questions, uh, it really went well. I see, I, I, it's not the answers I want to hear, it's always the questions. It tells me a little bit about what's in your mind, what matters to you. So it hopefully helps all of that panel, you know, some of whom are elected representatives as others would like to be, uh, reflect your views. So I just say thanks very much to William Wood High School.
and uh, uh, the school living up to its reputation as one of the best in Scotland. Thank you.